بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر ذوالفقار احمد این اینڈوکرائنالوجسٹ اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ اباؤٹ ویری امپورٹنٹ پرابلم وچ موسٹ آف دا پیپل سفر دیٹ از بلوٹنگ آف دا ایبڈامن آفٹر دا آفٹر ایٹنگ اینی فوڈ سو بفور وی اسٹارٹ اور ڈسکشن آن دس ٹاپک پلیز سبسکرائب ٹو مائی چینل لائک مائی ویڈیوز and share with the others for more awareness among the public. So today we will be talking about the bloating and uh, I hope uh, frequently many many people they experience this uh, bloating after eating and uh, there are some habits how can we reduce uh, this very troublesome symptom. So You are likely already aware of some of the top bloating culprits, uh, guests including foods like beans, brussels, fruits and artificial sweeteners are all well-known members of this group. Uh, also, there is a, in, uh, if you eat, take more sodium or you are traveling, you can get uh, these symptoms. By eating too quickly actually this is the one of the most important uh, pr- uh, one of the most important uh, risk factors for getting the bloating after the eating and that is uh, eating too quickly and it is such an easy habit to fall into you might not realize that you are already doing it if you have ever wondered why you are feeling puffed up even after a meal full of bloat stoppers this might be the reason it takes about 20 minutes for most people brain to register that they are full when was the last time you actually took that much time to finish your meal that's exactly the problem because always we are in hurry we are not uh, chewing well we are not eating slowly we are not relaxed and that's what happened that uh, that doesn't uh, lead to a proper uh, digestion and it leads to improper digestion and that means we are eating mindlessly so that will not absorb the food properly and you will end up having uh, bloating Eating too quickly robs your body of the chance to track its consumption and send the appropriate stiety signal to your brain, meaning you can end up with that overly full feeling and its frequent companion, a distended stomach. Whether it's good, the other important issue is the s- stress, which also can cause uh, bloating when you are not relaxed and you have stress and you are eating. Whether it's a good stress or bad stress, when we are anxious about something or simply overwhelmed with lots on our plates you might immediately feel it on your gut your belly may bloat you might get a slight cramp in your side your appetite will drop or increase and without being too descriptive your food just might not digest the way that it is supposed to do and then you must be cautious about the sugar alcohols and uh, these can also cause the bloating they are known as polyols they are ingredients used as sweeteners and bulking agents they occur naturally in foods and come from plant products such as fruits and berries so these sugar substituents can also cause uh, uh bloating then the other culprit is the carbonated bubbles in the cokes they are air pockets you drink those and the air bu- blinds up in your stomach which can cause abdominal distension in addition to causing bloating drinking a lot of these drinks may result in a few other uncomfortable issues as well if you are introducing extra air into your stomach it has to leave at some point then there is a uh, other important thing is if you have the constipation that also can cause the bloating and uh, how to uh, get rid of the uh, constipation is basically that you should take more water and take more fibers but the problem is when you start eat, eating more fibers and you start this one quickly that can also itself lead to uh that can it's itself lead to a bloating so introduce your fibers slowly because some of the fibers like uh, beans 
uh, that can cause uh, more gases in your body, lentils, uh, some uh, other food, dairy intolerances can also occur. So you, when you are introducing the new uh, fibers in your meal, please be careful, start slowly and slowly build up. These are good uh, items for the food, but you should start slowly to uh, gain this one. And uh, then the important thing is uh, to reduce the bloating is uh, you should uh, do exercise. Um, the, when you will do exercise that will absorb your food that will digest help in dig digesting your food and that will decrease your uh, uh, belly bloating as well and the important other issue is the probiotics which are actually the bacteria which are useful for the body and uh, that you can get it uh, from the food or you can get the supplements in the food it is in the dairy like yogurt if you eat more that contains a lot of uh, probiotics so by uh, avoiding some habits and having good habits that can help you to reduce the bloating which is really sometimes very troublesome so without medications you can help yourself to get rid of the bloating thank you